Hey guys, how's it going? Vincent here from the creativedojo.net. So in this video, I want to share with you guys a script I created called the Dojo Sharpener script. This script allows you to selectively sharpen the edges or selective parts of your footage without sharpening the whole footage so it won't bring out a lot of artifact, grain, or perhaps you just don't want to sharpen the whole clip, you want to sharpen selective areas of your clip. This script will really help you. Now this script is actually inspired by a tutorial by Quincy Gardner over at Tuts Plus, and I've been doing this technique for quite a long time now, but while watching this quick tip video, I was thinking how tedious and painful it would be to actually do this process for multiple clip layers. So if you have a lot of clip layers, this could be actually a very painful process. So I thought that this would be a very, very easy script to create that would automate the process for any number of layers. So this is technically what the Dojo Sharpener script does. If you want to learn what it does technically manually, watch this quick tip. The link would be down below as well as Quincy Gardner's YouTube channel. Check it out. So much props to Quincy Gardner for kind of inspiring me to create this script that will automate this process here. So let me just show you guys what the Dojo Sharpener script kind of does here. So I have three compositions here and they are absolutely the same. They're just a blank composition with a piece of footage in here. And I'm going to use these to kind of show you the differences between, you know, the methods of sharpening here. So for an example, here's the original. I'm going to leave this alone. I'm going to go to the sharpen composition. And in this composition, I'm just going to go ahead and apply an overall sharpen effect to this whole clip here. So normally, if you want to sharpen your footage, you would just apply a sharpen effect to the whole thing. So blur and sharpen and apply a sharpen effect. And then normally you would just crank this value up to like, you know, 5, 10, 15. For this particular case, I'm going to go ahead and bump it up to 50. It's very dramatic, but um, it'll show you really clearly um, what the script does in this small little video window here. So um, I'm going to exaggerate it just a little bit just because it's kind of hard to see. So I'm going to zoom in in this area here, in this leaves area here. So let me go ahead and just turn off the sharpen effect. So as you can see, by default, the whole clip is pretty sharp, except for the kind of edges. Uh, which is pretty normal for lenses here. So as you can kind of see, the leaves are kind of soft, um, the moss is kind of soft, and it would be pretty cool to kind of bring out the details of these ferns and these leaves and these moss and all that stuff here. So by applying a sharpen effect to the whole clip, you can kind of see that it does quite in fact sharpen the whole clip here. And if we go back to 100%, you can see the effect here. So this is before and this is after. So it does pretty much sharpen the edges. Again, this is kind of a dramatic comparison, um, but it does sharpen the edges and it looks pretty good, except that we have some issues with the noise. So for an example, if we zoom in here, you can see that by sharpening the whole clip, we sharpened the leaves, but we also brought out a lot of artifact and noise in the shadows. And uh, most of the time, you know, you don't really need to sharpen the dark shadow areas because again, there's really nothing to sharpen. It's just kind of like this dark, uh, you know, uh, abyss. And uh, essentially what we're doing by sharpening those dark areas is we're actually sharpening the noise and artifact as well. So as you can see, we have some noise around here. And then once we sharpen it, you can see that it really brings out some nasty artifact noise in the shadows here and a lot of noise around everywhere else. And most of the time, this is not really what you're going after. You just want to sharpen the edges of things for the most part to kind of bring out that crispy edge. Um, you don't need to really sharpen the surface of a lot of things, just mainly the edges of things. And um, this is where the script kind of comes in handy here. Let's go ahead and switch to the new composition. And again, this is just a blank composition with the footage applied to it. And we'll use the Dojo Sharpener script to just kind of automate the selective sharpening here. So I'll just select my clip. You need to select your clips first. If you have multiple clips, select multiple clips and then go ahead and select your sharpening method. And these are just different ways of sharpening. So I'm gonna use the sharpen effect and I'll just hit sharpen edges. And then it says sharpening is complete. We'll hit OK. And just to stay consistent here, I'm going to change the sharpen amount from 25 to 50 so that we have an even comparison between the last composition and this composition here. So as you can see, it looks a lot better. Um, so for example here, this is the original clip at 100% or actually to fit. And as you can see, we have some sharpened leaves, but we kind of have this artifact here in the shadows as well as in these areas here. And this is the selective sharpening method. So if we zoom in 200%, you can kind of see what it's doing here. So for an example, if we just turn off the selective sharpening, you can see that it really doesn't have any effect really on these shadow areas. It only kind of sharpens the edges here. So let me just do that again. This is off and this is on, off, on. And as you can see, these areas don't really get touched. It's just really these areas here. And this is kind of the power of the script or this method of sharpening. It selectively sharpens kind of the edges 
of things. So we have some nice crisp edges, but it doesn't sharpen, you know, the noisy areas, like the shadow areas and things that, you know, you don't really care about sharpening. And actually the great thing about this method is that we can actually control the edges at which the sharpening applies to. So if we just unshot the layers here, as you can see, it does have a mat. So the adjustment layer with the sharpen effect actually has a mat to it. So it's matting out the areas. So the adjustment layer is just being applied to the black areas here. So if we turn on the mat, the black areas is where the sharpening is going to occur. The white areas are untouched areas. So we can actually go into the levels effect here and we can actually adjust some things. So maybe you want to bring out more of the edges. Maybe you want to, um, you know, maybe sharpen more of the clip. By playing around with the levels, we can actually define what is an edge and what is not. So we can just play around with this area, maybe just crush the whites just a little bit. So we don't really touch these areas, but we really, really want to focus on this area here. So these area here are going to be really, really sharpened as well as these areas here. And if we just turn that off, you can see that we get some dramatic results here. So this is selective sharpening. As you can see, these areas are pretty much untouched and we don't really have a lot of noise being sharpened compared to the original sharp method. Um, which pretty much sharpens the whole entire clip, which is most of the time not what you want for a myriad of reasons here. So as you can see, some pretty nasty noise artifact here and more untouched kind of cleaner look over here while still selectively sharpening these areas here. And this is just a nice little way to kind of selectively sharpen your footage, maybe because you don't want to bring out a lot of noise or perhaps that area is already sharpened enough. So this is just a nice little way to selectively sharpening the edges of things. Very cool, very easy. And uh, so let's just take one last look at the comparison. So this is the original here. Let me zoom in 200%. Um, this is very, very soft. We have the traditional sharpen method, which really just sharpens everything. And then we have the selective sharpening, which is kind of the middle between the original and the sharpen effect. And we have a nice cleaner result. So that's pretty much it for the Dojo Sharpener script. You can get it at creativedojo.net, absolutely free under the name your own price platform. So if you find it useful, feel free to donate whatever amount you want. If you want to get it for free, just enter zero in the price field and you can actually download it for, you know, for free pretty much. So hopefully you guys enjoy this script. Check it out over at creativedojo.net. Again, my name is Vincent Nguyen and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.